Ah, what a lovely sunset. Oh, hello, bunny. There's a chicken in the water. But look at that beautiful sunset. Why don't we just enjoy it for a little bit? Yeah. There we go. All the stars are coming out. Look at that. This is marvelous. Oh, yeah. I'll get rid of that. Yeah, look at that. Once it's all the way down, we'll go back inside. Whoop. And here comes the moon. The moon. I'm going to sleep. I'll show you around some of the furniture that I got. And then we are going to head out on a little mining trip. So I put, set up my computer here. Let me see. They're researching uh, some some things to do with slime that seems to be frozen at the moment. Uh, I set up a couch and a little coffee table. Super disorganized chests. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Um, yeah, so today we are going to go mining because we are running low on some resources. Um, also took out the birch trees and just set up all of the oak trees because we need a lot for what I'm I'm doing. You can see the, cr the cross supports on the outside of the cabin are quite large. And I thought, oh yeah, like six stacks of oak planks is going to be plenty enough. Nope, I was wrong. But anyway, I've also set up a small sheep farm. I'm working towards getting all 16 of these slots filled up. Wait, no, there's only 12 here. Dang it. Dang it. I need to make it wider. I'll do that later. But uh, one for each different color of sheep. Eventually. Um, but yeah. Let's continue on down here. I don't... I'm pretty sure we didn't get all of this cave. There's definitely some iron here. So, okay, that's this little section. Um, we might have to go find somewhere else. <laughs> Unless this, I forget if this continues to go down or not. Nope. Okay. We'll have to go find somewhere else and do some exploring. But uh, yeah, I've. Those are some of the small things that I've done over between this episode and the last. Uh, I'm also recording a fair bit earlier than I usually do. Reason being is because I am in my own place, and it's quiet. No little people running around, making noise, nothing. So I actually get to record at a more decent hour instead of recording at like nearly midnight. I'm recording just later in the afternoon. It's currently 9.30. So once I'm done recording this episode, I'm going to have like lots of time before I usually go to sleep. I'm going to take that time to spend with some, uh, talk with some friends, um, talk with my sister some more maybe. She just uh, finished her first day of work for this summer. And uh, yeah... And talk with her a little bit maybe um, but other than that I might just work on um, the cabin some more chop down a bunch more wood um, I might play on my uh, server that I have um, and work on it some more uh, I've been 
know, having lots of fun on that with uh, some of the guys. I think I explained some about it last episode that I have one out. But, uh, yeah. Now, mining trips, what I've seen some YouTubers do is they do a Q&A thing. But of course, I'm not that popular yet, so I don't have that big of a fan base to ask for lots of questions about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just talking, like I usually do. Just, just keep talking. <laughs> Um, hmm, let's see, some future plans, future plans, um, oops, let's get that off an iron, um, I think we should build some kind of castle at some point, I like somewhat medieval builds, like giant castles and such, and like the, the cottage is just a small little, or I guess just a cabin, this tiny little thing that looks like old but not old, if you know what I mean, like from a long time ago type of thing. I'm not very good with futuristic-ish looking builds, <laughs> but uh... Yeah, I think I, I definitely want to build a castle at some point. Um, for those of you who've watched my hardcore series, I tried to uh, set up a big uh, perimeter type thing. Uh, a big set of walls. And Pardon my lack of talking while crafting things. Um, yeah, I tried to block our area in, or, well, more keep things out. But uh, what I was going for was like a giant castle with a big keep and uh, like uh, those type of things. And so, not something like quite as big as what I was going there um, for those of you who have watched it but somewhat similar as in like a castle with somewhat big walls maybe if we find a village or something uh, we could uh, build walls around it and turn it into a small castle type thing and have uh, people running uh, the castle <laughs> um, yeah. um, other plans I kind of want to do a sky base at some point um, but that's I've already done one before and it, although I enjoyed it it, was getting, it got annoying getting up and down from it um, after all the time it takes to swim up the the water stream that I had. Um, <laughs> yeah. It got interesting. And I may have found that world. I'm kind of hoping I do. I think I might have... Uh, it was either while I was talking with you guys or talking with uh, my friend that was here um, the other day from Bible College. But um, I had a world uh, quite a while ago, nearly a year, I guess. But uh, I was going to put it. It was going to be a server, and uh, I had to get it to the point where other people could play on it. But it was extremely laggy. But uh, so I decided to turn it into just a single-player world and just uh, build things by myself. And so, one of the things was my giant sky base. It was a series of large circles. Um, and it was, it was quite fun. Um, yeah. 
once again, pardon not talking while crafting and moving things. My brain likes to do that, is stay on one uh, thing at a time. Uh, excuse me. But uh, hopefully in the future I'll be able to to do such things without uh, having to stop. Okay. Yes, I brought uh, some a s bit of wood. Always take about a half a stack of wood with you when you're mining, for those of you who are new at Minecraft and playing. Uh, always take a s half a stack of wood while you're mining, as it helps a lot. You build a crafting bench, and then with that you build a furnace. You'd have some fuel, but usually by then you have some coal and stuff like that. But it's always good to have about a half a stack of wood when you go mining so you can replenish your tools and your torches like I did uh, a little bit ago. And smelting iron for uh, emergency tools or whatnot. And then just keeping the you know, crafting bench and furnace on you afterwards. I don't want that. I don't want no zombie brain. I went back there. Um, yes, it's time to go downwards. But, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, another great thing about having a crafting bench with you. Um, is eventually, once you, you get better and you get, uh, enchanted tools and such um, most often you'll be able to get a pick with uh, the fortune enchant which allows your pick to get more of the resource that it mines no it just only, only works with mm, pardon me uh, some things uh, like coal, redstone, diamonds, lapis, emeralds Oh. This is a abandoned mine shaft. Anyway, um, eventually you'll get tons of pieces of coal and diamonds and emeralds and stuff like that. As so having a crafting table with you, you can um, put those items together into their block form, and so it it minimizes space usage lot and it's really handy. Oh brother. That's a poisonous spider spawner. Don't wanna touch that guy. Really hope they don't find me. Oh no I'm I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> Is it like all underneath? No? Um, I didn't bring a bucket. I can make one. It's always good to have a bucket on you as well. Of course, I didn't, so I made one. But, uh, it helps easy when you can gather a thing of water and use it to climb down. Uh, places. So it lets you go uh, up and down type of thing. And my throat's, throat's getting scratchy already. I gotta start preparing like a cup of tea or something before each episode. <laughs> should have realized sooner that I didn't have a bucket with me. Wow, this thing goes up high. Okay. There. And while we're up here, might as well explore it quick. Okay, that just loops around. 
So we'll get all the resources from here because we need more resources because we're just starting out pretty much. Flinkle? High five if you get that reference. Um, on my server, uh, I've been making a path from where uh, my place is close to the, uh, the village close to spawn. And uh, I decided to use gravel as a as the path. And I thought, oh, you know, gravel is so abundant. Like I've got tons of gravel already. You know, like hardly played on the server. But uh, I get into the project, and I've had to go to like the ocean and dig out like a ton of gravel for this path, and it's not even finished yet. And I've gone through like at least 20 stacks of gravel like a lot of gravel has gone into this path but it, like I said it's nearly finished There's a lot more work than I ever thought I'd have to do <laughs> and uh, one of the things I was talking with my one buddy uh, while uh, playing on it I'm like probably don't hear this every day from uh, a person playing Minecraft but I need more gravel and, and then we're we just kind of look at each other and then we just start laughing and uh, yeah we had so much fun while he was here oops um, <laughs> I know I really should start preparing topics before playing an episode uh, doing an episode because it just gets uh, so boring and repetitive, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh boy. I really can't think of anything else to talk about. Wow, what great commentary, Toa. Great commentary for your next to little fan base. <laughs> oh well. The feedback that I've gotten from you guys, like, I think I said this last episode too, but the feedback that I've been getting is has really encouraged me to to keep going. Uh, these are points of time where it's like, ugh, do I really want to continue this? Like, I know I have fun, but it's eventually going to take up too much time to do these things and stuff like that. But uh, with the the response and the feedback from some of you guys. Uh, has really encouraged me to to keep going. It's like, well, even if it doesn't go somewhere, as long as you guys are enjoying it, is is really the best thing that there could be. Because I enjoy making you guys enjoy the videos, if that makes sense. I enjoy making things that you guys will enjoy. There we go. It's time to make another pick, oh my goodness. Iron really does run out fast. I'm gonna find some diamonds at some point. And we'll do that later tonight. Without you guys. Because mining eventually gets tedious. Um, yeah, we're back in the mine shaft. At least part of it. These abandoned mine shafts can get quite expansive. Not expensive, expansive. Like, huge. 
Because I got a cough. Oh, okay, that's better. Um, oh, a chest. Marvelous. What's inside? Oh, just some bread and some lapis. We'll take that, though. Uh, yeah, we'll take all the tracks, too. And it saves us uh, uh, resources. <laughs> and there goes the pick. And we're also out of torches. Okay. So that we'll need this. Eight pieces of iron. And a piece of coal. Though so I'm pretty sure I've said this before. But um each piece of coal will cook or smelt eight items. So to do a full stack of 64, you need eight pieces of coal. Which is, there's also a variant of charcoal, which you get by smelting uh, wood logs. So like birch wood log or oak logs or whatever like that. You get uh, charcoal, which basically the exact same thing as coal but it's made of wood um, but yeah uh, I'll show you quickly what I mentioned about uh, having blocks of these things so I had about four well I had did I had four spaces completely filled up with coal now there are only two four coal pieces and 28 blocks of coal. See? It helps. Ooh, level 30. Once we find diamonds and make an enchanting table, we can actually um, enchant things, which will be helpful. down here <clears throat> oh, my throat is not liking me right now oh well okay hmm what else what else to talk about okay I feel like we're getting dangerously close to that spider spawner again Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Whew. Got him just in time. Oh, there's a... a spawner for something else. Oh, I really hope it's like a zombie or skeleton spawner. Oh, it's a zombie spawner. That's brilliant. That means a source of XP and rotten flesh, which that isn't the biggest part, but it also has these few chests. Oh, this one's got a lot. We got a name tag, which we use to name an animal or a, a mob, uh, golden horse armor, iron horse armor, three saddles, wheat, music disc. Awesome. What's in this one? Oh, we can get diamond horse armor. Even cooler. Oh boy, we're already full of things. Um, I don't know, I had a single torch there. Well, I'll take the chest. Because it's always helpful. And I'm going to write down the coordinates real quick. Actually, you know what? I can just take a screenshot. There we go. 
That's just so I remember where this thing was at. Uh, let's take the mossy cobblestone now. This is one of the rarer bricks or blocks. Well, not too rare now because they they made it so that there's a uh, crafting recipe for them. Um, but before they used to only be able to be found in these dungeons uh, with the with the zombies and stuff. There's also skeleton uh, spawner dungeons, spider spawner dungeons, and these uh, zombie uh, spawner uh, dungeons. Um, and in the nether, which is the um, kind of underworld of Minecraft, um, there are nether fortresses which you can uh, find uh, blaze spawners which are uh, hmm, how do I explain a blaze? they're yellow and they shoot fireballs at you they set you ablaze <laughs> um, yeah and they drop blaze rods which can be used as a fuel source and as well as in making uh, brewing stands, which then you can make potions and stuff, which is also really handy. Um, oh boy. Oh, pretty much full. Um, you can still get some more iron. And tracks. I collect all the tracks here. Part of the mine shaft that is a zombie in it, I guess. That's where we're here in that guy. Multiple people of the unpet variety. <laughs> okay. Um, back to stretching. Oh, some iron. tracks we have 47 and 64 I don't, know. I don't have too much more space for them <laughs> uh, oops I jumped into a spider web do, 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 do. Okay. How many more iron? We can hold uh, five more iron uh, ore blocks. Oh, the center room. Or so some people call it. Pretty much, it's just a room that uh, is thought to be the center of the abandoned mine shafts. Okay. Oh, there's some gold. Let's get this. I have to throw something. What do we not need? Uh, the string. Actually, no, the weed. I've got a pretty nice farm up top. I don't really need that. This guy. Yep. Ow. Poisoned. See? These guys are not friendly. Kill that spawner before anymore. Decide to show up for the party. Um, let's drop the water bucket. Uh, once this gravel gets out of the way. <laughs> Oh, no you don't. Oh, you jerk. Let's 
stuck me up into a spider web, he did. Water wash away the cobwebs, but looks like our we have holes everywhere that the water wants to flow down to instead. Um, oh, this jerk poisoned again. Uh, well, this doesn't last too long. We're just gonna make sure we don't completely run out of health because. Uh, you know what that means. Yeah. Yep. Dead. Finish. Oh. Uh, drop the crafting table. For now. That gives us more room for iron. And then, yeah. Probably make our way back up though. That's because it's getting close to the end of the episode. I'll take that piece of gold. Do, 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 do. Okay. Want some more iron. I know I'm leaving all the coal, but I think we've got enough for now anyway. Um, if I need to, I can come right back down here. Okay. Let's go figure out where we came from. Oh, Lapis. We'll take that. It makes one of my favorite blocks in the game. A, lapis, a block of lapis lazuli. Lazuli. It's nice and it's blue. I very, I really like the color blue. That's my favorite color. going down the opposite of where we really want to go, but I kind of want to get some diamonds. Probably won't this episode though. has gotten a little stuffy recently, I think. There's springtime stuff. Come on. There we go. Cut the web down. Oh, pretty much full on lapis. And they, they drop like anywhere between four and seven pieces, so I don't want to waste any of it by only wanting to fill up the one space. And like I said, we'll eventually come down here again at some point. Light the whole area up. Redstone. Block off this water. Okay. 
We'll get this redstone and then we'll head up. Okay. Let's see, where did we come from? I think we came from this way. Yep. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Chest? No. Oh, we'll put these torches here. Light the area up some more. And the more area that's lit, the uh, the less mobs that will spawn in uh, that area. Oops. Stuck in a spider web again. Um, let's see. Okay, from up here. This way. Oh, I missed a piece of iron. Okay. And then this didn't go anywhere special. Don't need gravel. Not in this world, anyway. Oh, a little bit of lag. Um. Basically back to where we started. Oh, that's not the way we need to go. <laughs> Whoopsies. That's in her puddle. In the pool. Let's see if this one goes f up far enough. That we can get out. No. Oh boy, this is the one thing about caving that I'm not really good at. Because I just kind of get lost eventually. Um. Oh. And we're close enough to the surface. Dang it. Take it out my torches, you. Okay. Come on. Up through the water. Now where are we going to pop out? Oh no. Oh, there's a lily pad. Oh, just by the swamp. Oh, perfect. Right by the house. Brilliant. And pretty much all of the trees have grown. A few there. Oh well. Okay. Well, thank you so much again for watching, everyone. Like I said at the beginning, like it's a great encouragement when you guys tell me that you're enjoying uh, watching my videos and watch me just piddle fart around. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for the support, and I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.